I'm Natalia Humenyuk. I'm a Ukrainian journalist. I'm co-founder and the director of the Public Interest Journalism Lab. a lot with the conflict. So there was always the stress on what's happening in Crimea and in particular in the Donbas. So since the first day of the war, of course, I do work using my background as a war correspondent, as a conflict reporter, basically to be on the ground. And now I understood that was the only way. So we very fast, of course, regrouped and more or less started to work as a production, which was producing the content for international and Ukrainian media. KHL is also working on the uh, projects on documenting the testimonies about the possible war crimes or crimes against humanity, but also the oral history of the country. Now it's a very dire time for the Ukrainian journalism. But it happened we are still a group of people who can collaborate, you know, find a, find a car, go together to the Donbas. And I also like it because I know there are a lot of organizations, a great organization in Ukraine for trying to do something. But I also like this kind of self-organizational thing, you know, when people act as the community, not because it's a part of the task, but just because it should be like that. There is something happening now. There is a moment to learn your country because sometimes people do need to show who they are in the worst moment. And that's where things are happening. Going around the country and seeing the people there is such an inspiration. The volunteers, the local mayors, doctors who staying in the hospitals despite of everything and saving people. I'm honestly inspired by so many people but serving communities, helping them, enabling them, giving them voice and creating the space for constructive discussion for the future, that would be for me the, the, the biggest mission. The future of the Ukrainian journalism very much depends on how do we act now. Ukrainians, yeah, they're fighting for Ukraine, but they're in fact fighting for the values. They need solidarity and support. It's not up to us alone to kind of consider what would be the future of Ukraine, but it's definitely our role to ask the people 